Let's start with you. <coughs> it's Frazier too. Um, really, this was, I mean, a game of two halves. Yeah. Really, we come out and uh, have one of the worst shooting performances. In the, I mean, I think we were one for 14 at one point. Uh, couldn't buy a basket. So, I mean, during the timeouts, just take me through that, first of all. What are you, what are you saying to the players that come into the, to, to timeouts and stuff? Because we're getting open looks. They're just, they're just not all. Yeah, we talked a lot about trying to get offensive rebounds. You know, I reminded them that we only had, you know, eight points at one point. So obviously there's shots that are available to be rebounded. Um, they did a really good job in that first half, I think, of boxing us out um, a little bit more than we were anticipating. But, um, we, you know, we just – we kept trying to execute our stuff and we, we, we stopped with the breaking the press and throwing up a quick shot. And we started breaking the press and – and actually executing on offense. And we started getting, you know, not an okay look, but we started getting the looks we were looking for. And uh, I thought the guys did a nice job. I think at the under 12 timeout, we were shooting 7%. So, you know, things are looking pretty bleak at that time. But um, at that point, I think we went on a 19-5 run to get it back to a five-point game. So, uh, like I told the guys in the locker room tonight, I was really proud of their, you know, not sticking their heads down, but but fighting and persevering. and. Uh, you know, we got 21 free throws in the 23 free throws in the first half, which really kept us in the game. From a game plan perspective, just just take me through the process of, of preparing against this team. Uh, you know, they have that one-two punch <coughs> guards. Uh, just just defensively, kind of the game plan. What was yeah, basically, you know, we we know what they try to do. I mean, we've played them. This is the sixth time that we've played them, and um, you know, four times with the same coach and basically, you know, similar personnel. Uh, Horton has really added a component for them, really drives well and, and gets to the rim. Um, but, you know, you're going to have to defend the drive a lot, and they're going to put you in position to try and uh, get your help defense to step over. And then if you're not helping that guy, then they're going to get easy layups. Um, and then if you come off of their shooters in the corner, they're going to get wide open threes. So, you know, we tried to make sure that we didn't give that up. And we had a couple possessions where, you know, in the first half, and I told the guys, you know, we – we didn't help the helper, and we gave up a layup. And then we came off the guy in the corner, and we gave up a three. And that was the five points we were down at halftime. So um, we wanted to put a lot more pressure on the ball second half. And, and I think we were pretty successful at that. And uh, you know, try to, try to make the left-handed guy go right and the right-handed guy go left. And uh, sometimes it's hard to do that. But uh, I thought our, our defense second half uh, you know, stood up a little bit and, and uh, made them work harder because we weren't turning it over so much, giving them easy buckets. Huge shot. Ray, defensively, I mean, there was, there was a couple times you had to go out on some of those guards and, and just take me through from a player's perspective. What, what's the mindset when you're, when you're, I mean, Gagne in the first half, I think, had 17, 18 points, something like that, and then only four in the second half. So, um, you know, take me, take me through just defensively. What, what's going through your mind when you guard? Um, well, they, they have very smart and crafty guards, um, and it, it, to be honest, it's really hard um, just to sit down and stay in front. But um, I, I was just thinking, you know, uh, it doesn't matter what team, it doesn't matter what night, you know, it, it's gonna, winning starts on the defensive end. Um, and, and I just remember guarding the post, and usually any time I'm guarding a post player, I'm, I'm kind of standing up a lot. Uh, but when I go out to guard a guard, uh, I just hear Coach Ring's, you know, voice ringing through my head, no pun intended, um, you know, just saying, sit down, sit down, sit down. And um, to be honest, I was watching some of these high school games this week and how these guys were really intense on defense. And I thought, man, like, like I like their swagger, you know, so I like, why can't I do that? You know, I'm in college. They, they do the little things. I should be able to do the same thing, too. So um, I just wanted to make sure that. Um, I was really contributing to my team, not just you know offensively, but just sitting down and really uh, getting their guys out of the game, or just sitting down and just you know making a stop. Going into halftime, you know, we talked about it on the webcast. As, as bad as our shooting performance was, we you know we should we should have probably been down by 15 or 20 points oh. at the half, and <clears> instead <throat> we're down five at the half. So going into the half, just just tell talk to me about you know the mentality of both you captains as you're as you're going in there that you got to feel good about going into the locker room only down five with, with the way we shot the first Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, you know, we, we were down five, and we were heading into the half, um, going into the locker room. And we were pretty excited. You know, as a young team, they, you know, they gave us work at their place, and we were determined not to lose this game. You know, we didn't want to uh, – we didn't want to lose. 
And um, that excitement started to arise, and I just stopped at the door. I shook everybody's hand, but as they were coming by, I just said, listen, 20 more minutes. You know it's not over. So um, we, we handled success well. And that's why we came out in the second half, and and we continued to jump on and uh and to get after it. So, Kyle, let's uh, switch to you. We'll get to the shot in a second, but uh, I want to talk about the rebounding a little bit, particularly in the second half. We we came alive on the glass, um, ended up uh, winning the margin by 11, I think 38, 27. Um, so just talk about the post play, and again, we we did uh, size up a little bit better against this team, uh, but still winning winning that 11 uh, margin. Yeah, um, Warren Wilson's probably one of the only teams <coughs> where we can say we have a definitive size advantage. Uh, that's That was really nice. Uh, not used to it. Um, and, I mean, it's awesome that that happened because one of, like, the huge focus on practice was crash reports. We sent four people to the board. We wanted to send four people to the boards every play. And in practice, it was coming along slowly. Uh, guys still weren't doing it, but we really just – we just got after it in the second half. Everyone just had so much energy. Che is unbelievable on the boards. He just, he, you can't keep him away from it. If he wants it, he just grabs it. And uh, it's just awesome to see us. Uh, the coaches have constantly tried to preach certain things to us. And we've just struggled with, like, we basically almost forget what they say as soon as the game starts. And um, it's awesome to see the team kind of start to embrace it. And, He's speaking for himself. You know, <laughs> Yeah, uh, just to remember things. <laughs> uh, Coach Ring mentioned it a little bit. We got to the line 31 different times tonight. Um, that, that's got to be huge from an offensive perspective. Can you just, I mean, kind of add oh, yeah. to what Coach said, but talk about that drive into the rim. Mentality. Yeah, um, I think we had 24 free throws in the first half. So I guess we only had seven in the second half. But, I mean, once you get that many fouls, the rest are going to start letting a little more things go. But that's just another thing with – it goes along with crashing the boards. It's just been an attack mentality. And everyone bought into it. Everyone was driving. And I think we also only took four three-pointers in the second half. Um, we usually take four three-pointers. It takes about two minutes to do that, usually. Um, so yeah, yeah, three or four, yeah. And I mean, everyone got in on it. It was, uh, it was really good. We knocked them down, too. Take me through the last. The last couple of series of the game, back and forth, back and forth. I mean, you know, our fans are going, oh, and then, yeah. You know, yeah. And so particularly that last play, you know, Marshall breaks the press and finds you wide open. Just kind of take me through what's I mean, in your mind about if, if you guys watching the game think you go through a mix of motions, <laughs> just like I'm even more. I just, I just try and keep a straight face, but inside my head is going insane. And um, the – the biggest shot of the game where I think Warren Wilson finally took the lead with like a minute and a half and Dustin, we weren't, didn't really have anything on offense and Dustin just pulled up. Uh, he was open, pulled up, and nailed a three, went up by two. Uh, it was an absolutely huge shot. And then um, on the last shot, I uh, don't really remember a ton. Uh, I think uh, Johnson drove the lane and he he missed it. I think somebody grabbed the rebound, and I just started running. I didn't run the right, rain, the right lane. I just realized that. But uh, <laughs> Marshall just passed out to me, and I thought – I didn't know exactly how much time was on the clock, but I figured eh, we might not get a better shot than that. So I thought it was in our – I thought it was a decent idea. And as soon as I shot it, I was about 95% sure it was going in. And even when it went in, I was still thinking that that 5% was going to pop up. I was, <laughs> it was crazy, but uh, it was unbelievable. It was an awesome, awesome team effort there. Uh, we'll do a question each for you. We'll up what Coach here, but, um, going into tomorrow, rival game, obviously, we're going we're gonna, to uh, you know, really enjoy the win tonight, obviously, as a hard-fought win. But uh, going into tomorrow, it's a team that we know beat that uh, is a big rival of ours. So what are we taking from tonight that we did really well and maybe something, you know, one or two things going into tomorrow? Well, we take the last 27 minutes of the game and throw away the last 13. And that's <laughs> – um, but really, uh, we just got to come back the next day and go after it. Um, we got to just prepare. I think everyone's ready. Like, last time we won, we made a huge deal about it, and then we got blown out. And we don't want – we're not going to let that happen again. Um, and I love playing Clearwater. 
Um, I think they love playing us, and I'm glad they're coming here with our fans. And um, I know I'm probably not going to get a lot of sleep tonight, but I'm going to try, and hopefully everyone else gets some more sleep than I do. Um, Clearwater is one of those teams where uh, you say their name and a bitter taste comes to your uh, you know, in your mouth. Um, just negative thoughts, not you know, like anything super bad. We lost. Um, yeah, but like you, you never want you never want to have a close game here, uh, and then and then get blown out down there at their place. Um, just a lot of. Uh, I, I honestly don't know how to describe it to you, but it's not a good feeling. Um, I'm I'm very excited to play them tomorrow. I think we have an incredible incredible team um, that's going to match up well with them. Um, and the the freshmen might not know, but this is going to be a huge game, and we're going to play with a chip on our shoulder. Uh, the the pads on the inside of our gym say this is our house, and tomorrow we're going to protect we're going to protect it. We're going to play like it's our house. Um, and we're going to come in and we're going to play them hard here. And then when we go down there, we're going to play them hard down there as well. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to playing defense and, and to really just getting physical uh, on the defensive end. So, Coach, I want to take it back to you a little bit. Just a, just a little one, one strategy question and then we'll, we'll close it out. But when Kyle knocks down a big shot, take me into the huddle then. What's, what's the game plan? What's, what are you drawing up? Well, basically, we wanted to make sure that uh, they didn't get a clean look. We knew we were up three, so we wanted to uh, try to get them to get it into the front court and and foul them. And and we knew that you know if they made the first one, they were gonna try to miss the second one. So that's why we called a timeout to set everything up and make sure that we you know didn't let them get a rebound and put it back up, uh, which they did unfortunately. Uh, but. Um, you know, it was just, just basically reminding them that, you know, we needed to stay in front. And, and once the ball came over the half, we wanted to try to foul. And uh, thankfully, the officials were on top of the fact that, you know, we fouled him way before he took the shot. And then, um, you know, then it was just a matter of, of gutting it out at the end and holding on to everybody, hoping that ball wasn't going to make it in. So, um, you know, for... Uh, that's something we've really never done. I'll be honest with you. Uh, most of my career, I've never fouled. But I just felt like tonight that was the right thing to do because they have a couple of guys that, I mean, somehow the ball just finds its way in the basket. And I felt like if we can, if we can keep them from getting that opportunity from three and make something really weird happen for them to tie it up, then we'll take it and get into overtime. They had a lot of guys with fouls and all that. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it was... Uh, it was just, it was good to see him go out and execute. I thought we executed well in the, in the last part of the game. Um, you know, I don't know how you win with 27 turnovers, but tonight we did. So, you know, we'll, we'll be, I think we neutralized uh, some of the, the issues by, you know, making free throws and shooting as well as we did in the second half. Going from this kind of same question I asked the guys, but we're going to rivalry tomorrow. So, as you mentioned, a lot of things that, even though we got a really tough, scrappy win, mm -hmm. still a lot of things that you look at that we really need to correct with what's going on. Yeah, it's, you know, it's going to be a, a team that uh, they're, they're putting some pressure on. So immediately for us, that's, that's something we need to really go in with a mindset of taking care of the basketball. Um, you know, they've got a, they've got a, a really nice guard that, that is um, playing with a lot of confidence in Mora Lobo. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to defend him. And um, you know we're going to have to we're going to have to execute on the offensive end, um, and and then defensively we're just have to we're going to have to get after it defensively because they're, you know they've got enough shot makers and enough guys attacking off the drive that uh, if we're not committed to the defensive side, you know it's going to be one of those heartbreakers like we had last year twice. And you know these guys are talking about bitter taste and all that, and chip, and it's it's nothing against Clearwater or against the school. It's just we lost two very gut wrenching games last year, and and you know you hate to lose like that, especially the way we lost at home, and you know it's just um, it's something that you you want to go back out there and and get a chance to kind of redeem that in front of your home fans again. So great crowd tonight, a lot of energy. Loved having the high schoolers here. 
And, uh, you know, they, they gave us a lot of, of energy. We anticipate tomorrow night's going to be a big crowd just because of our opponent. So, you know, two back-to-back -back nights uh, with a lot of energy. And uh, I know that these guys are going to bring a great effort tomorrow.